Hi, it's Sue. I know it's been a long time. I um, had overseas visitors, so took a bit of a break from social media. Haven't done an awful lot. A few bits and bobs I've posted on Instagram, but I certainly haven't made a video for a while. So bear with me, this might be a bit painful as this is the first one in quite a long time. Anyway, as you can see, I've got my um, folders here for Junk Journal January and Junk Journal July. And for each one, I made a different kind of um, journal. The first one was this concertina style journal. And the second one, I used um, a ring bound journal. And as you can see, I obviously didn't use a big enough ring binder. It's uh, quite chunky. It stands quite well. Um, and as long as it's tied, it's fine. But really, I prefer this one. Because with this one, it doesn't matter how chunky it gets. You can tie them with a uh, piece of um, twine or this is a little scrap of sari silk. So I think for my next January one, my plan is to make another one of these. And I thought it would be quite nice to turn the camera on while I make it, um, or certainly while I start it. So I have my card for the front and the back cover. Not overly thick, but I think it's, by the time I've got it covered, I think it will be fine. It's actually, um, I think it was my keyboard. Yeah, it was. It was my Apple keyboard box that I just took apart. And um, the measurements I'm using are the same as the original. So for the cover, I'm making it four and a half inches. So that means my pages will be four inches wide. And um, the overall length, I'm not... I'm not making anything, any of my pages bigger than six inches, hopefully. So the cover I've made six and a half. I mean, the pages inside could be slightly smaller. Some of them will be, but the majority of them will be around six and a half. So as you can see, I've put, started putting some washi around because I know my pages are smaller than this and just in case I don't cover it completely, I've got this around the edge, which is a bit more interesting than plain white card. So, um, so far, this is my selection of papers, and I'm trying to use up scraps. Scraps from my scrap bin, bits from my box, but I wanted a bit of a, a mixture. You can see I've got a bit of brown wrapping paper that I've doubled up, not very successfully. It's quite creased, but I don't mind that. I think um, for this type of journal, that's fine. It just adds interest, doesn't it? Well, that's what I've told myself anyway. So, map page. A bit of printable there. An envelope. This book page. What else have I got in here? Oh, this is... Um, some avocado dyed paper, a paper bag, another image from a book page, There's some writing paper, wrapping paper, a bit of coffee stained note paper, and um, some manuscript paper. Okay, so this is just my tatty background uh, working sheet, but actually. That could be quite nice. Don't be surprised if you don't see a bit of that in there. All right, so I probably won't do a lot of talking in here because there'll be a lot of ums and ahs. Um, what I might do, there you go, there was the first one. What I might do is turn some music on. But um, before I start, I've got one more piece of washi to go on the top there and I have got that ready. So, so I don't flap around. So we'll just put a bit of um, glue stick on the top, just as a little bit of extra. 
oops, and this is my piece of washi. See if I can get this on reasonably straight. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so next job is I want to cover the front. And I've got to pulled out a couple of pieces of, um, actually they're copies of masterboards that I've made in the past. And I thought for speed, I might use this. I can, I'm going to add obviously um, an image or a few images to the top, but as a basic background, I thought this was perfect. So that's how I'm going to start. So I want, four and a half, which is here. And um, for most of my pages, I just tore the pages. But I think for the cover, I might make that a little bit neater and use my cutting tool. Okay. How's everybody? Have you had a busy, busy uh, year? Uh, we're going into summer, so it's been quite busy here. We've um, we've been working in the um, on the property, around the gardens, tidying up after a very wet season. So there's a lot of work to do while she's out there this morning, um, doing a bit more grass cutting and tidying up. Um, but I've given myself. A day off today. It is Sunday as I'm videoing this. Have you been doing anything interesting? I know in America it's um, you've been celebrating Thanksgiving which is I think a rather nice celebration. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving here in Australia. It's one of the few American traditions we don't follow. Um, Halloween has suddenly become quite large here. Never used to be, I don't think. Okay. I've been using my brayer to um, flatten things out and adhere paper, it works a bit better, I think. Yep, it's not bad. Okay, now the back, we might use the same. it the other way around I think. It's a bit more interesting down this end. So we'll take our measurement from there. So that's the back cover and the front cover done. Okay, so now I'm going to start looking at my pages. I can't remember how I did the first one to be honest. So this could be um, this could be fun. So I'm going to measure four inches in and I could do this on a scoreboard but I'm just going to use my ruler. Four inches to four and 
and just turn that back. Is that reasonably straight? So I know that I want that to turn kind of here. So this one, this side, if I cut that at one, two, three, four and a bit there. So I might cut that at four. This is, um, Called flying by the seat of your pants. <laughs> we'll see if it works out. So that one will go there, that becomes the first page here. This page is the right size. So the next one, I'm allowing, what will I allow? Say half an inch. Okay, let's use that one. Half an inch. So if I take this back to four and a half, to four and a half, let's see. So basically what I want to do now is add this to here so that it folds back at this point here. So I'm going to use my ruler as a guide for the half inch and I might make it just a tad under half an inch. There we go. And I think I'll use our glitter glue for the moment just till I get an idea of how this is going to work. Okay. And we'll use that hitch. There we go. inches. That's four inches. So we we'll turn that back to here. And there's our four inch. Let's work this out. One. goes on here now you can see we'll carry on opening out that way so every page will have a half inch join on this side but I'll be adding more scrappy bits of paper over that join area anyway so I'm going to carry on doing this and um, I'll show you when I've got all the pieces together
so here we are. It's um, completed, well, more or less. As you can see, if I open, let's open it properly. One, two, three, four, five. I've added a little pocket there. This is an envelope, so there's a pocket behind there. And a side pocket here. And yeah, that is the end. Then you flip it over and work back this way. So I've got to cover a bit more here. It's a bag. So top pocket. Or possibly I'll seal that and split down the side. I'll see. So there we go. That's us ready to remember which is the front. So this is the front. And now I'm going to decorate the front cover. So I got my pen out and um, did some writing. So I've written Junk Journal July, uh, January, and unfortunately this paper's not the best, so it is a bit, um, it's run a little bit, but that's fine, I don't mind that. And I have here a frame that's been embossed with Swiss dots. So my plan is to add my frame over a piece of book page, and in here will be this pretty hyacinth. And then at the bottom I'll add a bit more scrap paper. And I've already cut it to the size, pretty much. And my title will go here, with this sitting over the top basically like that and I've got a sticker to go here okay so that's next oh I've also got a paper frill paper ruffle just to sit along here and this has got a bit of the ink in it so that's quite green as well okay so no talking I'll just get on and put this together so I think I'll start with the bottom. This is actually the next day. My um, The day I started this got a bit carried away. I had phone calls and we were due out later in the day. So rather than rush it, I thought, OK, I'll leave it as is. I actually set um, the journal under a heavy book to flatten it out a little bit, which helps, I think, um, and came back to it this morning.
That's the front decorated. The back probably will stay plain. I may even put an envelope or something on the back. I'll, I'll wait and see how I go. Um, now this, okay, let's see how long it takes me to peel this back. Oh, glue. And my glue gets gummed up. Now, there we go, I think I've got it. Stuck to my nail. There we are. Now I'll just trim off the end. So that's the front cover. Now what I'll do is go through, flick the pages and strengthen the spine, you know, where it needs some of these joins. Add some, maybe some paper tape, not sure yet, um, just to make that a bit stronger. So I'll um, go and get myself organized and I'll be back. Okay, so I've gone through my uh, journal. I've added a few more bits to the front page, or the front cover, some washi and a couple of bits of stamp, um, and I will probably keep adding. And I've gone through and added some bits on the pages, um, as much as anything to reinforce the joins. Actually, you don't see any of that here. I've just added bits and bobs. Here I've added some uh, tape, just plain masking tape. Um, same here. Yeah, yeah. Just went through and added a few bits. I need to add a bit more glue there, I think ready to start. So that's it. Pop that in somewhere. Um, and I'm pleased to say that yesterday the prompt list is out. Meg's put out her prompt list and if you haven't seen this go and check it out at Meg Journals. She has the most incredible um, crew of creatives working along with her on this um, on next year's junk journal January so here are all the prompts I've actually printed mine out two to a page this one I will cut out each of the prompts to add and um, add to my pages and I'll probably use some of the other bits on there too and um, this one this one is going into the front of my journal. So I will put this one in here I think and just add a little bit more um, decoration to the side, either side, I'm not sure which, probably this side. Okay so I've got the prompt list there all the time. So that's where I'm up to with this and um, before you know it, it will be January and we'll be starting. Hope you're going to play along. I'm going to finish here. I will add that to my journal off screen. As you can see I rounded the corners on this because I haven't made it quite as thick. I think it helps with the look. Um, yes, I'm going to finish here and get on. I've got a couple of other Christmassy bits to share. Thanks so much for um, joining me and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.